How's it going, everybody? Whoa, that's way too high. Hi! Enjoy my palm for five seconds. Spencer here with a very different look than my last unboxing. Uh, yes, I had a mystery package arrive in the mail today from Atlas West. And, uh, boy, oof. These are fun to wear, but I'm so not used to glasses. Uh, Atlas is celebrating the release of 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim on Nintendo Switch, which comes out April 12th in the West. We actually get it before Japan, which is funnily enough. Only by like two days, though. So, we have a fancy little postcard before we dive into our unboxing. So let's get into this. It says, Vanillaware, the storytellers behind Odin's Fear and Dragon's Crown, craft a sci-fi mystery epic spanning 13 intertwining stories and 13 Sentinels, I guess, Rim. This critically acclaimed title comes to Nintendo Switch, April 12th. Uncover the truth and dive into a 2D side-scrolling adventure featuring gorgeous art environments. Then battle the kaiju in a fast-paced, top-down combat and fight to defend humanity. So, a uh, little bit of reference. Here's my head. This is uh, not as horrendously large as the um, last box we got for Ultimax, but is also uh, still a little bit uh, tinier than the bean. So... Just a little bit of a size comparison. There is a lot of danglies in here. So, show off some of this. We'll try and take this out as best as we can. I think it's a bag? Whoa, I've seen some pictures, but I'm still spoiler free on what it actually is. Okay, it is a bag. Okay, so we have this little, uh, I always forget what these backpacks are called, but they're the ones with the the like little straps and stuff that you usually get for like swag bags. And it says Mecha Munchies, 13 Sentinels, I guess Rim. I do have no idea what would be in here for food besides Yaki Soba, but I've been told it's not Yaki Soba or hamburger. Drawstring bags. Thank you, Kate Senpai. Hello, Hassan. Hello everybody in chat. Woo! Oh my gosh. This has got that uh, fresh thing. Whoa, okay. So I've tried to stay spoiler free on this. I know I'm not the first one to get this, but I think I'm the first person to be brave enough to show their ugly face and unbox this. So we've got a little BJ here. Hello, Koro. We've got a BJ kitchen heat pad. So when you're in the kitchen getting those munchies ready. And then... Is this what I think it is? No fucking way. Oh my god. I was like, this feels like the texture of a mouse pad. This is a BJ oven mitt. So if you ever want me to do a really uh, ghetto puppet show for 13 Sentinels, <laughs> I have got to find out who made this. This is actually a lot more cute design stuff than I would have ever thought. So, here's our oven mitt, or a very bad puppet, and the texture for everything, like, I've never felt an oven mitt that feels like this. This feels like someone made a, like, laptop or gaming mouse pad into an oven mitt, and it is extremely surreal. So, yeah, little, me like, mesh material in here, the flaps here, the B <laughs> the BJ design is hilarious. I didn't think they would commit to the BJ this much. Words I didn't think I'd be saying on a Friday night by myself on stream. And then here we have... Got more gunk in there. I'm assuming this is just like a towel or like a uh, like a cloth you would clean up afterwards. Whoa, this thing's big, actually. Here we go. Just the simple little design there. Oh my gosh, this thing's actually really big. It's about twice as big as that. With the one design, nothing on the other side. And uh, you know what? I'm actually always a sucker for this. And see what the thing says. Hand wash, dry flat, made in Mexico. I hope the items in this box become available. Coral, so do I. Uh, there might be an apron. I don't know. There is also a chance that I'm the only one who was stupid enough to open all of this. But this is definitely like meant to be a towel. Or, like, to, like, wash off stuff from a kitchen. This may be an apron. Hold on. All right. 
This is the end of our bag. Say goodbye to the munchie bag. Is this the apron? Oh, snap. Here we go. All right, let's make sure I don't roll over my cards all over the place. My office is an absolute disaster right now. And also, I am an absolute disaster. Here we go. Welcome to Apron Town. 13 Sentinels up top. And there we go. A little BJ on the bottom in the uh, pockets. All right, so let's see if this fits around my ginormous head. It does. Good sign. Wrap around my big old chubby. And then pretend I'm this tall. These are your pockets. You got both sides. Please never actually, like, dirty this because this, I don't know. I don't know, actually. This feels like a pretty... This feels actually like a pretty solid, like, material. This doesn't feel like something that you would use once and then it would, like, break. I will tell you this, person who just said hamburger in chat, I am 100% going to make a 13 Sentinels-themed meal with all of this cookware and stuff. Just because I feel like I've got to do something. Something to say on brand. So we still have more goodies in the box, allegedly. Um, hey, wait a minute. Is this an art book? Hold on. What the heck is this? Okay, this is not an art book. But here we go. Cooking with I, I, yeah, that's true. It'll be cooking with uh, BJ and Spencer. Is this like a snack box? Bax? What the heck? All right, hold on. Let's open this last, because I think that's where the food is. I was like, there's not really a lot of stuff left. Oh, wait, hold on. Is there actually no food in here? I mean, I'm sure you could probably eat this. No, that's actually it. I don't think it's a cookbook, unless I'm wrong. I think I know what this is. But this is not the box I would have thought this comes in. Arr, all right. Get the plastic off. Our Mecha Munchies, our final box. Yeah, honestly, th out of all the things they've ever sent in their press kits, this is the most that I feel like they could have just sold. I mean, obviously you could have sold all of them, but this, like, being so themed around cooking... It is a wooden... Wooding? A wooden cutboard. Holy moly. Let me get my nose around this one. God, Chad, get a whiff of this thing. This thing smells fantastic. And you'll never have to guess long where it was made. So it is a Mecha Munchies, and it's actually engraved in there, BJ and all, on the cutting board. Oh my god, I feel like I'm back in Home Depot. This thing uh, smells fantastic. So yes, here's our plate. My head, by comparison, I have an enormous head. Real wood. Yeah, it probably doesn't translate as well. Real uh, rubber, real wood. The fact that it was in this plastic box I find hilarious. This, like, screams to me, like, oh, maybe there's a snack in here. It is a box fueled around cooking and food. Like, basically, this is, like, the perfect set for an oven. But no actual food. Ironically, it's done its job of A, making me say 13 Sentinels and the word BJ a lot, but is not going to uh, help me make any hamburger. But I will say right now, live on stream, I will use this cutting board and all of these munchies and all of these mech pans and cute designs to make some edible 13 Sentinels meal I don't think I'll make it live, but I'll definitely record it and do like a time lapse and you can all see how bad my cooking is. But I will uh, use these tools, Atlas West. I will put these to work. Me and BJ will cook up the most Spencer hamburger steak possible and then probably microwave some yakisoba and throw it in a loaf. But uh, yeah. I don't know, actually, yeah, you guys can tell me. Would you want that to just be something pre-recorded I edit, or do you want to see me suffer in the kitchen or both? Uh, let me know. 
either way, uh, this is about like been 10 minutes, but uh, Atlas West, thanks for the stuff. This is uh, unasked for, very unexpected, but uh, reminder everybody, if you don't have a PlayStation 4, or even if you do have a PlayStation 4, play 13 Sentinels there, play 13 Sentinels in April when it comes out on Nintendo Switch, enjoy it wherever you want. Um, if you would like these items, I will once again end this stream by saying, let Atlas know you want to buy these items. I'm sure if you keep telling them, they will eventually sell them. I think, I think that's how consumerism works. But yeah, we've got our board, we've got our mitts, we've got our cloth, and we've got our box with beautiful art. And now I am very hungry. But uh, yeah, that was the stream, everybody. Thanks for coming. Thanks for watching me with glasses and finally having some facial hair back and looking like an absolute mess after a long week of work. But I uh, hope you enjoyed, learned something new, and uh, are excited about 13 Sentinels, which is a very awesome game. Oh, also, yeah, um, if you're curious or I was going to recommend my review, my review has a lot of spoilers. If you've not played 13 Sentinels, don't check out my review. But when you do play 13 Sentinels, I have a very long spoiler cast I did with um, Oziak and David Cast as well as a very, very, very long spoiler-filled review. So there's lots of stuff for 13 Sentinels on this channel. Um, depending on how busy the week it comes out for, I may do a video... I won't, like, review the Switch version, but I'll definitely do, like, a port comparison and talk about the exclusive features and stuff, just because they did actually do some work, and I've been messing around with the Japanese version of the game, um, and it's pretty solid so far. So if you also want to check out the Switch version, there's a Japanese demo as well. It's just the prologue, so gives you a good idea for it, but there's no English at all in the Japanese demo. So it's kind of a bummer, but you already kind of know if you're into it or not. So hopefully you all are, and if you've played 13 Sentinels, let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, what, let me know what you think of these weird glasses um, and all this, uh, all this stuff. So goodbye, everybody. Peace.